All right, hello rocket poolers. So it is that time, it is that time for us to prune our node. We're running geth on one of our nodes and our disk space is getting up to about 80%. And we don't have currently a, a backup client set up for our consensus or execution client. And folks in the community put together this rock, rocket pool rescue node and uh, we've been seeing it in the Discord and spoke to a couple of folks that have used it in the past. And we're gonna go ahead and try to use it ourselves for pruning our node. And I'd like to record this just to kind of get the process. So let's dive right in. I'm on rescuenode.com. And what you're presented here is a way for you to sign a message on your node so that you can get temporary access to, to this system. Now, this is a temporary access point, so we're not gonna use this as an ongoing backup node for us, but for now, we, we wanna be able to run a prune and we don't really wanna miss attestations or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command right here to get the message we need to sign. And I'm gonna pop over to my command line here. And let's go ahead and SSH into our box. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paste this message right in here. And here we go, we got our signed message. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, pop back over here, paste this in, agree to the terms, and hit next. Okay, so now what we need to do, it gives us a little bit of a, a, a how-to here. So select your client below and edit your rocket pool override validator.yaml file to look exactly like the content shown below. Save the file, exit, and proceed to the next step. Okay, awesome. So we are using Lighthouse. So we're gonna copy this and well, let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to go ahead into rocket pool override and validator.yaml. So let's go back over to here and let's go into, let's go ahead and rocket pool override validator. We'll go ahead and replace all this. I'm going to actually comment this out instead of just deleting it and we'll go ahead and throw this in there. Yeah, you know what, I just added this one line, the environment line for CC API endpoint and it gives us this endpoint with our key in it. Awesome, so let's go ahead and you know what, in this other window, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the staker as well so we can run logs on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And you should now be a testing. Okay, that should be pretty much it. Now if we go <coughs> rocket pool service start. Okay, so that did go ahead and recreate that. Awesome. Now on the rocket on the, the main website here. It did have something in the FAQ to look at the log. So let's take a look at this and we should see that we are using, boom, there we go. We're using the rescue node, excellent. So we are on the rescue node and what I'm gonna do is, and I'm not getting any alerts yet about attestations being missed. And now we should be able to actually go ahead and prune and okay, what we can do is say rocket pool service prune ETH1. This will shut down your main execution client and prune its database, freeing up disk space. Once pruning is complete, your execution client will start automatically. Are you sure you want to prune? Yes, we do. Okay, so now we can follow its progress here. Rocket pool service logs ETH1. And there we go, we are deleting stuff. After some time, and it was a bit of time, this was a few hours, I had stepped away for a little bit, 
our ETH1 client is back up, Geth is running, and we are synced with the, with the blockchain. And we also have a good amount of storage space that was that was taken away. So we, we have 49% as opposed to close to 80 as we had before. Awesome, so we just successfully pruned. The last step of this is to now take the rescue node off of our node. So we could just simply do it, do that by editing an override for our validator here in the validator.yaml file. And we're just gonna go ahead and delete this. And that's pretty much it. I kept this commented up here before I could just, you know what, I probably should keep it clean, right? Let's just, let's just get rid of this. There we go. Write that. And now we could just go ahead and say rocket pool service start. And this will go ahead and get everything back connected again. Excellent. And I'm just following the ETH logs here. You can see it coming down and coming back up. And all this while we were able to use the rescue node and we did not miss any at attestations. The only one we missed was from because the doppelganger mode. So we purposely miss a couple of attestations, but that's it. This worked beautifully. All right. I just wanted to quickly capture that and hopefully share it with the community and maybe some folks find this useful. All right. Thanks.